Hi, I'm Marvin Plackett, and today is Monday, January 4th, 2021. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, warm greetings to all of our residents, all of our staff, and all guests. Uh, 2021 is here. Hope is in the air. It feels good. Uh, a lot of positivity is in the air. Uh, renewal, uh, new beginnings. Welcome 2021. Good to see you. It's been a whole week since I've been with you. We currently have 10 active COVID cases at this time at Episcopal Homes. Only one of the 10 is a resident. And that one resident, she is um, on our dedicated COVID unit at Episcopal Church Home. The other nine are staff members and they of course are all at home recovering. And uh, we wish everyone the best, of course, in their recovery. Um, vaccines. You've heard a lot, and uh, so last week on Wednesday, the vaccine was given to all residents and to all the staff that participated up to that point uh, last Wednesday at the gardens. So that we're certainly very pleased about that. And on January 27th, the second round of that vaccine will be given. And then anybody who missed the first round, they'll also get that vaccine on the 27th of January, and then. Uh, four weeks after that, then they would be getting their second round. That sounded confusing. I think you followed me. In any case, last Wednesday at the gardens, first round of vaccine was given. We are thrilled about that. This week on Thursday at Episcopal Church Home, uh, they are going to be given getting their first round for residents and staff. So we're delighted about that. Has not yet been scheduled for Iris Park Commons. They should be getting scheduled pretty soon. We will keep you posted, of course. And then for the rest of our campus, it has not yet been scheduled. We're working on it. And of course, the health department is in charge of that. And to let you know that, you know, why did the gardens get it first last week and Episcopal Church home this week? We have no idea. It's entirely not in our control. That is in the control of the health department and, uh, and also with the rest of the rollout for the senior community. Uh, it's in the hands of the health department. So they were, were they know about us. Uh, we have our, uh, our names are in there. All right, we're in the pecking order somewhere. Uh, we just don't know about when everybody's going to be getting it. So uh, stay tuned. We will certainly keep you posted, but we sure are delighted that it has started. Uh, think about what a major event that is when it was only nine months ago that it entered America, well, a little more than that, 10, 11 months ago. And of course the fear was very high and here we are less than a year later and the vaccine is, is here. Wow, um, what a uh, tremendous effort, of course. Um, as I have mentioned to you before, um, and it was just a few days ago that uh, Dr. Fauci, he mentioned on the news, he said, you know, it's probably going to be until not until fall that society sort of starts to approach normal. Um, and so for the next several months, uh, we have to be practicing the same little measures that make a big difference, all right? They keep you safe, they keep us safe, and that is wearing a mask, physical distancing, washing your hands frequently, and of course, if you have any symptoms, isolate and get tested. Those little features, they, when added together, they make a huge difference. They keep you safe, they keep your loved ones safe, your neighbors safe, this, this all really matters. You know, uh, we're all in this together and it only works if we all participate and all follow these guidelines. So it uh, continues to be vital for at least the next several months, okay? And you're watching the news just like I am. I'm, you know, we're learning together. All right, as things evolve in our society, as the vaccine gets increasingly uh, distributed throughout the U.S., throughout Minnesota, throughout the Twin Cities, etc. Um, security, I just want to remind you that that exterior door at Midway Point, um, that is now permanently locked on the outside. And to get in, now there's a fob reader, you just need your fob. And all residents have a fob. Um, all staff have a fob, so uh, nobody should have any difficulty getting in there. The delivery of packages, that's going to have to happen at the Welcome Center. Uh, but uh, just remember, uh, don't let anyone in behind you. Keep a mind on security at all times. So 
If you're entering the door and someone's standing there and it looks like they're wanting to follow you behind, just make sure that the door closes. They've, they've got to call their uh, resident here, their guest, their relative, whoever it is. And if they're a staff member, they've got to follow. So um, be uh, safety conscious, okay? We appreciate that. <clears throat> New Year's resolution. Have you made any New Year's resolutions? I actually haven't made any specific New Year's resolutions, but maybe you have. I challenge you with this one though. I've challenged you before with this one. Think of someone that really would appreciate you reaching out to them. Think of someone that needs your support. Think of someone where if you don't reach out to them, no one else might do that. Um, you know, uh, this the more social isolation that we've been enduring for the last several months, it's really hard on people, no question. So reach out, reach out with that phone call, with that FaceTime. Uh, however you're going to reach out, send a postcard, um, send an email, um, do what works for you, but reach out to someone who really needs your support. They will be grateful and you in turn will be grateful as well. Let me read some birthdays on this Monday. So birthdays for this week. Regina Hogarth at Seabury. Kim Ang at uh, Cardi Heights. Mildred Olson at Episcopal Church Home. Ann Larson, Midway Point. Clyde Cicerelli at Cardi Heights. Jacqueline Collier at Seabury. And Pat Brintison at Iris Park Commons. Happy birthday to you all. All right. So take care, everyone. Stay tuned. We're uh, learning together. We're staying safe together, employing those little measures together to keep one another safe, keep one another educated. Um, if someone needs help, reach out. If you can't help someone, reach out to, st to a staff member. Uh, and of course, never hesitate to reach out to me directly. All right, take care everyone. Uh, look forward to seeing you on Thursday. We're back to normal schedule. Mondays and Thursdays is when I do my video updates. See you Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye.